Hi guys, this is um, Lockdown Locatelli providing the in isolation entertainment and cooking tips. Uh, this is a dead simple one tonight because the um, director in charge is behind the camera there. She's off going to, uh, to Tesco's very shortly for the first time in well over a week I'll say now. So ingredients are getting low. This one is um, penne arrabbiata. Uh, arrabbiata is Italian for angry, um, so it's a spicy tomato sauce. Dead simple. All we've got is a bag of penne, water's on the boil there, um, probably five or six tablespoons of olive oil in it. It's quite a lot of olive oil in this one, which is good for you by the way. I've gone heavy on the garlic, there's about six cloves of garlic in there, chopped, fine, not crushed. We're going dry chilies. I've got some fresh red chilli for mine for decoration after and a bit of extra flavour, a bit of extra heat. Parmesan to grate over. So all we're going to do, we're going to sweat off the garlic um, and dry chilies. And back to you shortly. Okay, so garlic's gone in into the oil. I've gone about, um, as you can see there in the hand, maybe half a teaspoon of uh, dry chilli. So what we're going to do with that, I'm going to sweat the garlic off. I want it just to be on the point of browning because I want that, uh, when, it, when the garlic browns it becomes quite bitter. Um, <clears throat> I want it on that point of just about to start browning because I want that bit, slight bitterness, that pungency. I want the chilies giving the oil some heat. Um, then we're going to add some tomatoes into it. As I said, the water's boiling. While we're, to while we're on this um, cooking subject, I never know what else we're going to do uh, in the next few days. I've been asked about Yorkshire puddings. I finally learned how to do Yorkshire puddings really well, these big huge things, it's fantastic. Um, next one we're going to do is chicken, mushroom and chorizo pie, that's tomorrow's. We're going to do a cheese and onion pie, that contains bits of potato that uh, my sister-in-law won't be happy about, um, but it's absolutely fantastic. And a really good authentic um, chilli, chilli con carne. Um, right, so we'll just fry that garlic off, just starting to uh, take a bit of colour and back to you shortly. Okay, the garlic's just at the point now where it's uh, not far off going brown in there. You can just see it's uh, just cooking off nicely. So now I'm going to put in the tomato, or tins of tomatoes. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. There we go, sizzling away. I like to empty the tin fully, um, as my uh, my friend pointed out the other day. If I could ring it out, I would do. Can't waste those good tomatoes, Simon. So, in we go with the tomatoes, at the same time now, we're going to go in with the penne, which only needs, I'd say about 8-9 uh, minutes to cook, so it's quite a quick one to cook this tonight. So on top of that, penne is on the go now, that's on high power. We're just going to put some seasoning into this tomato sauce. Again, it's going to be in tomatoes, quite heavy on the salt, a little bit of black pepper. Back to you shortly. Okay, pasta's um, just a bit less than al dente, so stick the pasta in with the uh, in the sauce. I'm just going to just have another last minute of its uh, of its life as usual in that, and I'll just uh, come back to you shortly and show you how it's finishing up. Right, okay, there we go. That's about a minute all cooked in together. You've got a nice rich tomato sauce. Only the three ingredients in that: tomatoes, chili. And garlic, not counting the olive oil of course. I charge you about 12 quid for that in a restaurant. That's taking the time the pastas to cook to put that together. Dead quick, really tasty. Nice bit of bite as well. A little bit of uh, cheese on the top. That's it, done and dusted, fantastic.